into filming again. Most of the time, nagfi-film ako for open arms sa kaiklusyon, kaiklurajo. But now I decided na yung isa sa ginawan ko ng written movie review no on ay gawa naman ng review sa video. I've watched this movie some two or three times already. Siguro pang apat na hindi ko na bilang. But I think third time. So it's from Regal Entertainment. It was released as part of the Metro Manila Film Festival 2017. It's Haunted Forest. It's directed by Ian Lorenos and it stars Jane Oyneza as Nika, Jameson Blake as RJ, Maris Rakal as Mitch, John Lucas as Andre, kasama rin si na Ray Mart Santiago, Chong Joey Marquez, Miho Nishida, Myrtle Sarosa, Gerald Napoles, at marami pang iba. Horror siya na may halong suspense and mystery in my opinion. Medyo may halo mystery na nga sa pinaka-start pa lang eh. We have seen na uh, yung Goldo ni Miho ay nakita agad na patay at nakalambitin sa puno. If you did not recognize her, siya talaga yon. It's the power of prosthetics. Sabi ni... Sabi nung role ni Joey Marquez doon ay meron daw sit-sit na kumukuha ng kaluluwa ng mga dalaga sa nayon doon sa bayan. Doon sa setting ng movie. Kaya nagpunta roon si Raymart para investigahan kung ano ang katotohanan dito. And along the way, sinama niya roon si Jane o Ineza yung role niya doon bilang sinika para mag simula nung bagong buhay sa probinsya. Kagaya nung mga maraming laking syudad, naghanap din siya ng wifi. <laughs> She starts a ship with RJ, si Hashtag Jameson, at si Andre, John Lucas, tsaka naging close din sila ni Maris as Mitch, Nika's cousin. Si Nika yung madalas na hinahabol ng sit-sit and madalas may visual effects pa kagaya nung may paru-parong sa paligid. Tinitingan niya nung like this, ganyang expression ang mata. It, it is uh, what I call proof na pati mata ni Jane. May acting din. Kaya rin kumakting sa pamagitan ng mata. And yung sinasaktan ng role niya ang sarili na may mga sugat-sugat na it's what we call yung pag pagkocontrol or pananapi ng sit-sit sa kanya. Kinagawa nila ng paraan sa pamagitan ng albulary or something. Si Betong pa nga yung gumanap na albulary. <laughs> And earlier on, as we know, Gerald Napoles, siya yung boyfriend ngayon ni Kim Molina. In Haunted Forest naman, siya doon si Voltron na pinagbibintang ang salarin sa pagkamatay ng mga babae sa nayon. He insists his innocence at wala siyang pinapatay roon. I will not spoil kung bakit hindi siya napatunayang guilty. It's a it's an example of innocent until proven guilty ganon. Hindi lang siya sa comedy magaling pati sa ganyang material. And kung sa body crayons which I have to confess I flex ko lang na panood for one time. Naging revelation don si Maris as well as in Vince, Kath, and James. Sa Haunted Forest, she's the, con- she's the concerned cousin of Nika na gusto niyang gusto niya in a way na manatiling safe si Nika against the sit set. So, tumutulong din siya na, like, na hindi na maging pag-initan ng sit set si Nika. So, yon. 
this is a movie that showcases Jane's versatility too na kaya rin niyang mag-horror, hindi lang straight drama kagaya nung sa MMK. Although, we've yet to see Jane do another horror. Nag, nag-romantic drama siya twice eh, sa Finding You tsaka Us Again. Both are also from Regal Entertainment. Tsaka nag-comedy rin siya. Nagpakwela sa Barkadahan Movie, Ang Henerasyong Sumuko Sa Love. Here, she is paired with Jameson Blake as RJ. Okay, yung romance nila at Manila is good. They, they somewhat have chem- may chemistry with sila. Although, later on, pinaparis naman kay RK Bagat Singh si Jane through the theory, TV series Arrow Gabi. Tsaka doon nga sa Us Again. And, hindi naman nila both kailangan ng love team to prove na mayroon din silang pwesto uh, or lugar sa industriya. Hopefully, may, may more projects for these four, for the main cast. So, so far, si Maris ay may upcoming I Want series Beauty Queens. Interesting ang role niya doon. She plays Tarsi Lazamora, 1930s beauty queen yon. Hindi ko pa sigurado kung anong klaseng role yun for Maris, but it's yet another versatile role for her. Tsaka, with regards to cinematography and visuals, maayos naman, maganda naman pagkakagawa ng movie, lalo na yung so color grading. Kung kailangang dark ang color grading, ginagawa talaga ng dark para may halong mystery. Tsaka, minsan, yung liwanag ba, hindi oversaturated. It's just right for each scene. Lalo na sa mga eksenang nagtatampisaw sila sa ilog ba yun? Basta tubig na bang? Then, yung hinahanap na nila si Jane, si Nika na nag gala na sa haunted forest as they call it in the title doon na siya nag-start na habul-habuli ng sitsi just because merong air of mystery doon eh silang apat din later on ang may paraan na gagawin upang tuluyang mapuksa ang sitsi I won't spoil because viewers ki- because it's siguro for the viewers din na malaman kung paano nila nagawang mawala na yung sumpa ba yun or something na dala nung sit-sit sa bayan nila. I watched it once sa City Hunt with two of my cousins. Medyo na ano ako ha sa mga ganon, ganon yung pag self-inflict ng harm dahil nga may sit-sit na sasapi na ano ako na eh, parang <laughs> hindi ko i-exaggerate din na natakot din ako may, may effect talaga na may chills it's an effective horror movie and una siyang naging available sa free TV in 2018 if I'm not mistaken so I got to watch it one more time para meron akong recall sa anong nangyari before I was able to do this video review so no last weekend na panood ko to sa Kapamilya channel gabi na yun ha I was still able to retain yung mga eksena doon, yung mga highlights. So, I have finally been able to create this video review. Kahit hindi ko nagawa much earlier nung time na palabas pa to because yun din time na wala pa kaming wifi and I did not have enough self-confidence na mag-vlog. Just last year na ako nag-umpisa. So, before we conclude this, may 
meron lang akong gustong idagdag pa sa movie of course na pati yung mga supporting casts doon mga more senior kaya ni Miss Beverly Salviao magaling din nagawa rin ng maayos ang role niya tsaka walang tapon sa cast ha they're all they're all exceptional sa kanilang craft and hopefully magkatrabaho ulit sila in another project or something kapag okay na lahat pag wala na pandemya when when everyone is safe enough to do shooting ganyan and by the way gusto ko lang mag shout out first and foremost kay Rani Salvador hi Rani I wanted to do this for a while now, pero ngayon ko lang nagawa. Kamusta na dyan? If all is fine now, maybe we can collaborate na. Ganon. Tsaka kay Charles Selibak. Am I saying your name correctly? I have yet to watch your videos, pero sana rin pala mag-collab tayo in the nearest future. God bless to the both of you. God bless you both. Ganon. Di pala pa din the both of you. I'm so sorry. So that has been my review. Video review finally for a Haunted Forest. I'll try to find a way na ilagay sa description box yung aking written movie review that I created. In siguro to be exact on the Boxing Day 2017, December 26. Yun kasi yung exact date na napanood namin ng mga pinsan ko yung Haunted Forest na sinihan. Doon lang sa SM Molino Cinemas. Ilalagay ko yun sa description box as I edit. So, if you want to know more, just comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit the bell notification please para wala kayong mawalampas ang new videos for myself. Pasensya na ganito yung angle. I tried a new stand na ginagamit ko minsan sa Zoom meetings. And when I tried it to film this vlog, ganito ang kinalapasan. <laughs> But it's okay. Anyway, salamat ulit sa panonood nitong vlog. And see you all in the next one. God blesses all blizzards. Au revoir!